Today I have Derek Mickelson, lead of the KRTP, out to do some hygienic testing on my stock. Pleasure to be here. So uh, yeah, I brought some liquid nitrogen out with me today and uh, we're going to be doing some hygienic behavior testing. And uh, so hygienic behavior is uh, uh, a heightened ability of bees to be able to both detect and remove either dead or diseased brood from the colony. Um, and so uh, one of the best ways to test for hygienic behavior is by freezing patches of brood and then putting those patches back into the colony, coming back 24 hours later and counting how many of those cells have been cleaned out by the bees. Uh, and so the liquid nitrogen freeze killed brood test, uh, it was developed by Dr. Marla Spivak uh, at the University of Minnesota. And it, it's a really quick way to do it. It just requires one, one trip to the bee yard to do the freezing and then a follow-up trip the next day. But using liquid nitrogen is uh, a really a quick and easy way of doing it um, but obviously you know, beekeepers have trouble accessing liquid nitrogen and storing liquid nitrogen so uh, that's where the KRTP can come in and uh, and help provide uh, this service to beekeepers. Okay before we get started maybe let's just step over here and take a look at what we're going to be looking for in our brood nest. So what we're looking for when we're pulling our frames is we want the a frame with the most solid patch of brood that we can find uh, so this here is a really great frame. This is a really nice, nice solid patch of brood. And what we also want is uh, the, the brood to be at the right stage. So we want it, uh, as the pupa develop underneath the cappings, it'll go from white-eyed pupae to pink-eyed pupae to purple-eyed pupae. And we kind of want right in the middle there, we want uh, pink to purple-eyed pupae. So this is a, a great frame here. And if we just open a few cells, we can check to make sure it's at the right stage. So there's a, a, about a purple-eyed pupae there. Yeah, nice and consistent. Yeah, nice and consistent. So this would be a perfect frame to freeze. So we'll just shake the bees off. Good deal. And we'll mark this frame so we know where to put it back. So when we freeze a patch, we'll just put these little cards on to indicate which patch is which. And then uh, Ian will be coming back tomorrow to just take pictures of each of the patches with the numbers in them and then email those to me and I'll do the counts at home. Save me a trip out here. Should be able to get two patches with almost no cells missing. This one has zero cells missing. cells missing. little one to be more precise pouring it in we just want to pour a little bit in to get it started and helps create a, a nice seal sealing the the tube to the brood and just a little bit at first quite a bit in. You need about 300 milliliters per tube. So it's quite a lot but it does boil off pretty quickly. And then because the tubes are going to be frozen right to the brood we have to let those thaw uh, 
about 10 minutes or so, we'll come back and remove them nice and gently so we're not just ripping out all the brood with the tubes. take to burn off? Uh, it just takes a couple minutes to burn off. Um, but most of the waiting is, is letting the tubes actually thaw. Oh yeah. So always the one, the one on the left is always A. The one on the right is always B. Ready to go back in as soon as these thaw. How do you know when they're thawed? Uh, you kind of watch uh, the outside of the tubes when that frost kind of dissipates then it's, it's close and then you can gently check it to see if it comes off. Pull it out. Yeah. This is certainly cool. We've always spent a lot of time selecting our breeders for certain traits that we're looking for. More of an applied kind of general sense. Just anything that really thrives and produces for us, but we've never actually performed more of a professional type selecting test such as this. So this is going to add another layer, another dimension to my whole breeding program because basically what we want to be looking for is bees that just handle situations better. Uh, what's one of the characteristics for hygienic behavior within your hives? What advantages do we find? because of that. Yeah, so bees bred for hygienic behavior are more resistant to brood diseases like American fowl brood and chalk brood. Uh, and it can also provide partial resistance to varroa as well. Um, the University of Manitoba was actually part of a, a large cross Canada wide study that found that, that bees selected for hygienic behavior when they were inoculated with American fowl brood and when they were inoculated with varroa mites uh, actually had much better winter survival. So this one's ready to pull out. This is nice and thawed, so pull that off. And we got a nice patch of frozen and, and the brood would be killed underneath there. Yeah, that one's good. So actually, I do have a data sheet. I need to count how many cells are missing before we put it back in. So zero blanks there. And I'll just count one, two blanks for that one. What do we have here? Ah, oh, sweet. This is a good frame. She was planning for it. White eyed stage or pink or whatever color that is. White. It's just barely starting to turn pink. Bring it over to the mad scientist. Last one. Last frame. This is 15. That is it, the hygienic test is done. It took about roughly two hours to do 15 hives here. What's the next step I have to do, Derek? So in about 24 hours, you'll come back and pull those frames 
and uh, what Ian is going to do here is just take pictures of each of those patches uh, with the corresponding number tag and just email those to me and I'll be able to do the counts and see how many of those cells have been cleaned out by the bees and then do a, a little calculation of how many cells are cleaned out divided by how many we started with uh, and get a percent uh, hygienic behavior for, for each colony. All right, good deal. So thanks Derek for coming out to the farm today to do some testing for me. I look forward to seeing my results and uh, we will keep in touch. Absolutely.